Hi everybody, it's Master Aquatics. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Everybody else, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to share this video. So guys, when I came home from work today, I took a look at my tanks to make sure everything's okay like I usually do. And when I took a look at the 29 gallon tank that I have with my breeding pair, I noticed that this male angelfish was hiding behind sponge filters and wasn't swimming to the front of the tank like it usually does. I also noticed last night that there was a bit of sparring going on between the two. Um, I just thought that maybe they were getting ready to lay eggs again, but uh, I realized today that's not what they were trying to do. They were fighting and this happens sometimes with uh, angelfish pairs sometimes they get into I guess you could say like arguments or disagreements whatever you want to call it um, sometimes they just fight just the fights in their nature um, angelfish are pretty aggressive fish but mostly towards each other they're not really aggressive towards other fish but mainly towards other angelfish maybe the female angelfish um, did not want uh, the male eating the babies because there's still a few uh, fry in the 29 gallon tank um, so like I said whatever they were fighting about it's done and over with now I got my mail and I put them in a 20 gallon tank I also put two other uh, silver platinum angelfish in there um, they are the stunted angelfish that I had in my 75 gallon tank I just never got I just never called them when they were younger um, I just kept them and here they are and they're pretty stunted. You'll see them a few times here within these clips. I just couldn't get myself to get rid of the poor guys. So I just ended up keeping them. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the stunted angelfish. I might just keep them and see how big they get. And uh, I don't really care too much for them. They're actually in a 20 gallon tank because I was testing the water in that tank to see if they were good enough for the platinums that I just got but since I came home today and I noticed that my male angelfish is pretty badly hurt I immediately decided to remove the male angelfish from the 29 gallon tank and put him in the 20 gallon tank and I'm going to see if I can get his eyeball back and get his fins growing I've already dosed some more Melafix in the 20 gallon tank because on the bottle it says that um, it can be used to repair fins and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if it's going to work and actually get his fins back. His fins are pretty torn up pretty bad to the point where he doesn't look like an angelfish when he spreads his fins out. Um, it's pretty bad, you know, it really makes my fish look ugly. Um, with all the bruises and I'm really hoping um, my angelfish will go back to normal but I doubt it. This is the female. I can't believe my female did that to the male angelfish. Like she has no remorse whatsoever. She's trying to post up on me too. She sees me with the camera and she's to the front of the tank and she's asking me if I want to fight and all this nonsense and I'm like man you need to take it easy girl. Okay, I don't want no trouble, but in all seriousness, as you can see, there's a bruise on her head. Um, you can see the bruise on her head, and there's some bruising around her mouth, but not too much. Um, she's fine, and as you can see, there's a fry in the background, and you can actually see them this time because they've gotten bigger, and pr sooner or later, they're going to start developing their fins so they can start looking like angelfish and there's another fry right next to that one um, I believe I have like three or four left and I'm going to hold on to them as long as I can and um, hopefully I can get them to grow um, I don't know if they are going to make it because it seems like every few days I get shorted one fry so if I just get one out of the whole thing then that's okay that's fine with me um, but honestly, I just want them to start breeding again, but I don't know if that's going to happen because I just separated the male from the female. So when, usually when you do that with angelfish, you break their bond and they don't pair up with each other again. And it's very likely that they might not pair up with any other angelfish that you introduce them to. I'm not saying that's a fact. 
I'm just saying that's what I read online and also I've tried doing that. I've tried separating a pair and having the female or the male pair up with somebody else. It's never worked for me. So I haven't had any success trying that with my own personal experience. Uh, moving on to the 75 gallon tank. The Platinums are doing awesome and I'm so happy. But uh, you know, hopefully I don't jinx that. But so far so good. Everybody's doing great in the 75 gallon tank. The only thing that's a nuisance in this tank is that silver platinum angelfish that you see right there. He's the biggest one out of everybody in that tank. And so he thinks he has seniority and authority and superiority in that tank. All three in that tank. And uh, he definitely feels like he's the king of that tank. And he feels like that tank belongs to him. So he will um, nitpick at some of the angelfish when it comes to feeding time. Um, he'll snap at a few of them. And it just really boggles my mind with angelfish because, you know, you can put them in a really big tank with a lot of hiding spots and they will still choose to get bullied by the other angelfish. Like they'll just sit there and, you know, just take all the bites and jabs. And, you know, I just don't, un I don't understand. It's like I put the Anubius and Crips for you guys for a reason. So when you get bullied, you can go and hide. Okay. Don't just take your beating and die. You know, go ahead and, and hide and, and do something with yourself, you know. Um, but anyways, that was just a little mini rant on uh, angelfish aggression. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm loving all the angelfish in this tank, uh, especially this red koi. Um, that red koi has a little bit of ripped fins. So I've never had any success um, repairing or healing angelfish fins. So if somebody in the comments section or anybody that watches my video knows anything about repairing angelfish fins, please tell me how I can do that and what is the best way to do that. Um, because I don't know. All I know is that I can dose Melifix and it could possibly help. But is there any other methods that's more reliable, that's more um, accurate, has better results? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. But I decided to feed them twice today um, just because I feel like that helps aggression in the tank when your angelfish are very well fed um, they're less likely to you know attack other angelfish um, because I guess they're sleepy from being so full or whatever but yeah feeding definitely helps with uh, aggression um, having a big tank helps aggression also um, with aggression with angelfish you also want to keep um, about four to eight angelfish at a time don't ever keep an odd amount of angelfish like don't ever keep three angelfish in a tank um, because then um, two will bully on the smaller one and the smaller one will die and then eventually if you have two males or two females they will kill each other too i don't know why but angelfish just don't really like each other they don't like other angelfish it's what they do when they're babies and they're little you know they're cute they're peaceful but when they get bigger they get mean they get really mean it's in their dna it's in their blood and then we got this guy over here all he wants to do is eat and shit all over the place um and he's getting big and he's he's looking pretty cool um so hopefully you'll see more of my pleco when he's even bigger um, so far, he's doing a good job getting rid of the allergy in my in my tank, off of my Crips and my Anubius. So I'm glad I got him. He was a good investment. Um, I mean, I still have to go in there and, and clean some allergy every now and then, but it's not as bad. He's definitely going for the allergy more than the dead leaves that I have in there. Um, so he's doing a good job cleaning up. And uh, yeah, you know, like I said, overall... Very happy with my angelfish. I'm just really hoping I can keep these guys alive long enough to get another pair going. I've been trying to do this for a while now. And uh, sometimes, guys, when you try to breed angelfish and you get, you know, 8 to 10, you know, you're not always guaranteed a pair. And that's, you know, the, the cruddy thing 
of breeding angelfish. Sometimes you can put so much time into a breeding project and it fails and you know you waste all that time. So, but don't don't ever let that, you know, put you down and and not keep you motivated to keep trying. And uh, this little guy just appeared out of nowhere. The past few days, I've been trying to find my ghost shrimp, and I haven't been able to find one. And out of nowhere, this guy shows up, and I decide to take a few clips uh, or a few good shots of the little guy. I don't know where his friends are. Um, I, they, they either got eaten or disappeared. I don't know where they went. Um, maybe the pleco started going after them. I don't know, but... Uh, I've only seen one so far in the past few days, and that one looks like he's pretty big. So, uh, Mr. Pleco, did you eat all my other ghost shrimp? I don't think he did. Um, and there's the new koi that I bought, and um, I'm just happy with the tank. It's clean. Water test shows that the water is good, so I'm hoping for the best. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I put a lot of time and effort putting together this video and um, I'm showing or I'm seeing that there's a lot of subscribers subscribed to my channel now. I got some new subscribers so I'm happy about that. Thanks for the support guys. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.